Live and direct. Right, right, right. It's Sway in the morning. Right here on Shade 45. Katie got bands is here. We're going to open the phone line. She got a show today, um, tonight actually, at the Knitting Factory in Brooklyn. If you're in the tri-state area, nice. go check her out. Uh, tell them bitches pop out. Let me ask you this. In Chicago, <laughs> that's that's the theme of the next question, obviously. <laughs> you see the setup. Um, you usually hear about a lot of guys and the adversities they face, you know, the obstacles, whatever, neighborhood, neighborhood, people, you know, a lot of shootings and a lot of all of that. What is it like for you being a, a, a female, being a woman coming up in this game? What was that like? What has that been like for you in Chicago? Has it been difficult at all? Well, like at times it get, it can get hard, but like no matter what, you got to remain humble, like, you know, mm-hmm. and especially being a female in the industry. Mm-hmm. Like, I I take out all my frustrations out on music anyway. So, like, I love competition. Mm-hmm. I love challenges. Mm-hmm. And I don't fear anything, so I remain humble. You know, it's funny. Katie is smiling, while, but she looked at me in my eyes like I don't fear anything. She's the boss of you. She's oh. the boss of me? Mm-hmm. That's how she looking at you. I'm I the know. boss of you, Sway. Do, do you feel like you... <laughs> You she gonna like pop out on me. You have to pop out on me right now. Now you cool. Drilled. Okay, good. <laughs> I didn't want you to get drilled. I didn't want to get drilled. Is that, is that right? Yeah, that's right. I said drill that right. Right. Only, only, only obviously get drilled in Chirac. Okay, in Chirac. Chi- mm. But speaking of competition, when it comes to other female rappers, do you listen to them to make sure that you go about your content differently, your flow? Because I know some rappers they don't listen to others at all. I mean. I have a couple of female rappers who I rock with, mm-hmm. but a lot of people, uh, uh, most female, uh, a couple of them is garbage. But <laughs> I'm, it's not a diss or nothing. But like, yeah. I wouldn't turn on a lot of female rappers' music. But I'm rocking with. Uh, who are you rocking with and not rocking with? Well, like you mean, like as far as females, period, or from Chicago? Chicago. Chicago. I'm rocking with Dreezy, mm-hmm. Tank, Shauna. Um, Who did we just have? Chella. Sasha. Sasha, Sasha Gohar. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I graduated with her, too. Y'all went to school together? We actually came up with our names together. Did y'all? Like, around graduation time. So, were y'all at your house or no, her we house? we was in the lunchroom. In the lunchroom. Did y'all <laughs> yeah. used to get free lunch or you used to buy your lunch? I ain't eat that school food. I okay. used to leave school and go for that food. Uh, okay, did y'all used to battle in the lunchroom or just swap Like, lyrics? we used to have a lot of conversations. Like, we both were saying, we want to rap, we want to rap, whatever, whatever, mm-hmm. you know, like that. And, like, both of us thought each other was playing. Then I look up, both of our names ringing. That's what's up. Okay. So y'all kind of started this together. Y'all started mm-hmm. at the same time. Yeah, we didn't start together, but, yeah. like, we came about it together, you know. So I should go hard. Sasha's yeah. hard, too. What made you want to rap, though? Like, you know, people look at females and go, oh, well, she looked this way, she looked that way, she could get over, she could sell records just on appearance and stuff. Is Like, what made you, did you look at anybody and say, I could do that, too? No. Um, I was, actually, my two cousins, Block on the Track, mm-hmm. produced Pop Out. Okay. That's uh, me being in the studio with him and my other cousin, DJ Rock, like, that influenced me to want to rap, like, and I used to say to them, like, I want to rap, I want to rap, put me in the booth. And they just just be just laughing because I play a lot. Mm-hmm. And they ain't never taking me serious. But, like, Block called me up about two summers ago. Like, at the route at the route I was going, I could have been dead or in jail. And he told me, like, he tired of me going back and forth to jail or whatever, whatever. He got this B he want me to rap on. And then mm. my first single, I Need a Hit of the song that put me mm. on the map. Mm-hmm. Block produced that as well. And right. then ever since then, we've been rocking out. Block do most of your production, right? Yes. Block. Shout out to Block on the track. Block. How? What's up, Block? The block. That's what's curious to me because, like, you hear about a lot of, you know, uh, what different dudes are doing in, in the streets in Chicago. But mm-hmm. women going through the same thing. Y'all y'all popping out and, and you know, women got to go through the same thing as well. Like, you know, Yeah. Yeah. I don't want you to incriminate yourself. You know what I'm She's like, it's, yeah. just, it's for every choice you make, it's a consequence. So mm. basically, whatever you, whatever route you want to take, you better be ready for what's coming your way. Oh, that was, that was powerful. Right there. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.